Hello everyone. I welcome everyone to my lecture class again. This is Dr. Sangeeta Chaudhary. I am a consultant physician. And in today's class, I am going to discuss about a very, very, very important point of learning medicine that is history taking. History taking is basically an art and this art can be mastered only by repeated history taking. Why history taking is so important? It is because it is said that 80% of the diagnosis can be made from a good history and rest 20% diagnosis can be made with the help of the physical examination findings and the investigations. A small point in the history can also point towards a very specific diagnosis. So such important is history taking. History taking also helps in building a good doctor-patient relationship. While taking history, we should be very patient, we should be a good listener and we should note down all the possible important points from the history. If the patient is not in a condition to give a good history, we can take history from patient's relative also. Now let's discuss about the points or the protocol of history taking. First of all, we need to note down the particulars of the patient or biodata of the patient. In the particulars, we are going to note down the name of the patient, age of the patient, gender, occupation, religion, address, date of admission and date of examination. Again I am repeating, we are going to note down the name of the patient, age, then gender, occupation, religion, address, date of admission and date of examination. Next thing is writing the chief complaints. So what is chief complaint? Chief complaint means the complaint or the symptom which has led the patient to visit a doctor or to attend the hospital. Chief complaint should be written in chronological order that means write down the chief complaint first which appeared first. There should not be any medical terminology in the chief complaint it should be written in patient's language and we should better mention the duration of the complaint also. Suppose a patient has come to you with fever and cough so in the chief complaint we can write like Fever as the first chief complaint, okay. Fever for last 15 days. Then the next chief complaint is cough for last 10 days. We will write fever as the first chief complaint because fever appeared first, okay. Which is followed by appearance of cough, okay. Next thing is history of present illness. In the history of present illness, we are basically going to elaborate the chief complaints. We are going to describe everything about the chief complaints okay uh, just for example suppose the patient has come to you with fever and cough so we are going to describe fever first we are going to describe all the possible points of fever just for example we can ask about the onset of fever the grade of fever the type of fever if there is any uh, aggravating factor for the fever or any relieving factor is there any diurnal variation of the fever that means fever is more in the morning time or is it uh, comes only during evening time or night time okay so these are the things we can ask about fever if the patient has cough also we can inquire about the onset of cough the progression the frequency of cough is it productive cough or dry cough if there any diurnal variation of the cough if there are any postural variation of the cuff, okay, these are the things we can ask. If the cuff is productive, then we can inquire about the sputum, okay. How much sputum patient is producing a day? What is the color of the sputum? Consistency of the sputum? Is there any foul smell in the sputum? If the sputum is blood tinged or not? These are the things we can ask, okay. So after elaboration of the chief complaint, we can ask about any associated symptoms. And then we can note down the important negative history also. In the general questions, we can uh, mention about patient's bowel habit, bladder habit, sleep pattern and the appetite. Okay. These things we can also mention in the personal history. So this is all about the history of present illness which should be very much elaborate. Okay. We should not miss any points in the history of present illness. Next is past illness. In the past illness, in the very beginning, we are going to ask if the patient had similar illness or similar complaints in the past or not. Next, we are going to inquire about any history of chronic illnesses like type 2 diabetes, 
हाइपर टेंशन और ट्यूबरकुलोसिस एनी कार्डियक इलनेस एनी क्रॉनिक लंग डिजीज लाइक सी ओ पी डी और ब्रॉकियल एस्टमा ओके दिस थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू आस वी कैन आस्क अबाउट सो मेनी डिजीज इन द पास इलनेस बट वी शुड रिमेंबर दैट वी शुड बी आस्किंग ओनली द रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन ओनली वी शुड एनकर अबाउट द रिलेवेंट डिजीज विच विच शुड हेल्प अस इन ट्रीटिंग द पेशेंट ओके और मेकिंग अ डायग्नोसिस फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर केस now personal history okay in the personal history we can enquire about the patient's food habit okay whether patient is a, uh, a vegetarian or he takes mixed diet how frequent is his meals whether he uh, takes regular meals or not okay we can enquire about the patient's marital status we can enquire about the bowel habit bladder habit sleep pattern appetite of the patient if we have mentioned these things in the history of present illness then we may not repeat these things in the personal history also we can also enquire about any high risk behavior in the personal history by high risk behavior i mean if there is any history of intravenous drug abuse any history of uh, homosexuality or having multiple sexual partners having multiple unprotected uh intercourse all these things okay this is about the personal history then in the family history we need to enquire about the patient's family members with whom the patient uh is living with whether they have any similar kind of complaints or not whether there is any history of uh, chronic illness in the family members uh like history of diabetes history of hypertension tuberculosis and cardiac illness in the family members okay we can also enquire about any history of hereditary illnesses in the family if there is uh, uh, no illnesses in the family members we can just simply write that there is no significant history in the family okay next thing will be a uh, treatment history in the treatment history or drug history we need to enquire about the treatment patient is getting for his present illness okay what are the medicine patient is getting and then we can enquire about the any uh, chronic medicine patient is on that means patient is on uh, any uh, medicine which the patient is taking on a daily basis like for example for hypertension for diabetes whether the patient is uh, regular with his medications or not these things we can ask in the treatment history next is allergy history we need to enquire about any allergy to any kind of food or any kind of drugs so that we can be very careful while prescribing the drugs to the patient next we can enquire about the immunization history immunization status of the patient should be known whether the patient is fully immunized or partially immunized uh, as per the national immunization schedule okay if the patient is a female we need to enquire about the menstrual history and obstetrical history so what are the things we are going to ask in the menstrual history are we will ask about the age of menarche we will ask if the menstrual cycle is regular or there is any irregularities about the flow okay whether it's a heavy flow or it's scanty flow okay if there is any associated dysmenorrhea we need to ask if the patient has already attained menopause we are going to mention the age at which the patient attained menopause in the obstetrical history we are going to enquire about how many uh, children the patient uh, have okay what were the mode of deliveries whether normal vaginal delivery or cesarean section whether the pregnancy was uneventful or there is any uh, disease okay during the pregnancy or during the uh, postpartum period okay and we need to enquire about the last child birth also okay this is only if your patient is a female you are going to ask about menstrual and obstetrical history lastly we are going to enquire about the socio economic history in the socio economic history we can ask about the social status and economic status of the patient okay about the living condition of the patient what type of house the patient is living in if there is an overcrowding in the house if there is presence or absence of cross ventilation in the house whether the patient is having any pets what is the source of fuel okay and what is the source of drinking water these things we can enquire about 
we can ask about the economic status of the patient by inquiring the family uh, inquiring about the family income or calculating the per capita income okay so this will complete the history taking again i am telling the steps of history taking okay first of all particulars of the patient then chief complaint then history of present illness then past illness personal history family history treatment or drug history allergic history immunization history menstrual history obstetrical history and socioeconomic history okay so if you take an elaborate and very good history i am sure we will be able to make a very good diagnosis okay so i hope this class was helpful thank you so much for attending the lecture